<laughs> and this is Varys. <laughs> so, welcome. Welcome back. Welcome here. You're appreciated. I am grateful for you. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're tuning in. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And if not, I hope it's going to get better. And with this message, it will get better. Today, I have a message of motivation for you. Hope you enjoy this. I want to say to everyone who's listening, everyone who's watching, every day is not a good day. Now, I kind of wanted to get into that because of the fact that I woke up today and I had a panic attack <laughs> and I was panicking and I had just woken up and it was like four or five in the morning because I'm trying to wake up earlier. I'm trying to change my sleeping schedule, which is not easy at all, but it's very doable. Um, I was trying to wake up at four, at four or five in the morning. I woke up and I panicked and I was like, no, nah, I'm going back to sleep. I feel too many emotions right now. Went back to sleep, did that about two or three times. Finally got myself out of bed around eight or nine in the morning and you know, got started with my day. But, you know, with that being said, I was very anxious. I was panicking. I was very chaotic. I was very stressed, very sad, worried. Anything that's not a positive emotion, any negative emotion, that's basically what I was feeling in my own way because of what I'm going through. And what I'm going through so much is basically just a personal change, a spiritual growth, and letting go of bad habits, bad people, bad tendencies, and just grow, you know? But um, the reason I say that is to say this, you know, at the end of the day, it's really what you do for yourself that defines yourself and that defines your moment because emotions are temporary. So you can control them or at least influence them to go in the direction that you would like. So what did I do since I was having a panic attack, an anxiety attack, I was feeling mad anxious this morning, I was feeling stressed and disturbed. I first spoke with one of my closest brothers, Stewie, Shout out to my brother Stewie, he's done a lot for me and he's, he's helping me do a lot and go through a lot and grow through a lot, should I say. Shout out to my brother Stewie. But um, I was having a conversation with my brother Stewie. That was one of the first things I did after my reading. And because I read 15 to 30 minutes minimum in the bathroom um, in the morning. And um, we basically talked, we vented to each other, gave each other some advice and really listened to each other. That helped a lot. So venting can help a lot. Having someone that cares and listens to you helps a lot it really does and it can calm you down and make you feel better especially if you're able to get advice from somebody that you tr that you trust that you rely on and that has gone through something similar you can't get advice on something i just read this i just read this from grant cardone you can't get advice from um someone let's just say i can't get advice from my mom about making a million dollars because my mom has not made a million dollars so how is she going to advise me on doing so so in that same method that is applied to everything and the reason I say that is basically this. We gave each other advice because we're going through similar situations, but then I realized afterwards I was still feeling anxious and panicky. So what did I do? I stretched, I did some yoga to relieve that tension and that anxiety and that energy. I also meditated. Oh, I meditated. Did I, oh, did I meditate? Boy, let me tell you. <laughs> Hold on. I had to get myself together, compose myself again. But um, you see the way I just felt, I just, you saw that I got and my facial expression and my energy changed when I talked about the meditation because that's how much it did for me. Like I literally only meditated for 10 to 20 minutes and I, all I did was sit in a chair, a comfy couch, comfy spot, legs crossed up because that's how I like to sit, half lotus, it's not full lotus because it's uncomfortable for me. And um, I just, I just sat with my eyes closed and just deep inhales and exhales for about, I want to say maybe like like I said, maybe 10 to 20 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. And it calmed me down a lot. And after those two things, between the stretching, venting and talking to my brother, and between the yoga, yoga stretching, and between the actual meditation, let me tell y'all, I feel so much better. I feel like nothing happened. Literally, I feel like nothing happened. I feel so peaceful and so harmonious right now that I can't even complain. So the reason I tell you that is to tell you this, like. How, what do you do when you get stressed? What do you do when you're anxious? What do you do when you're having a panic, anxiety attack? What do you do? How do you calm yourself down? Number one most important thing, ask yourself those questions and answer them humbly. And realize this, number one most important thing is calming yourself down by any means necessary. Typically what I would say, all the stuff that I just gave you will work. But another thing is breath work. If you're in the moment and you don't have anything that you can't run away from the moment you can breathe long deep inhales and exhales really calm your 
mind, body, blood, and circulation. I wasn't feeling good, feeling great. I wasn't feeling good, feeling good, feeling great. But now I'm feeling better. Love you all. Bears, tune in, out.